Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the paintbrush tool with the inpainting tool to get rid of this fence. For those of you who don't know what inpainting is, it's Affinity Photos version of the Content Aware Fill in Photoshop. So let's get started. First, make a new layer and select the paintbrush tool with some black paint and you want kind of a hard brush, you don't want a soft fluffy brush. And then you just, with the new layer, the new empty layer selected, you just brush over what you want to get rid of. So you want your brush to be just a little bigger than the fence. And you know, try and be neater than that. <laughs> you just simply brush it up. Yeah. My hand's not pretty steady. It's kind of a mess. Anyway, you get the idea. You just brush all over the whole fence. And it works better if you do the whole picture at once. I tried doing sections at a time, and it just didn't work as well. But when you do the whole fence all at once, it works pretty good. So, I'm going to get rid of this layer. Because earlier, I already made a layer of paint. And so this is what it looks like when you're done. And now what you want to do is you want to select the layer that you painted on. And go to select and click on selection from layer. And it will highlight all the stuff that you just painted. And now you need to go down to the background layer and select that. Make sure that's selected. If you keep the paint the painted layer selected, it's not going to work right. But you can turn that layer off now. And then go to Edit and In Paint. Click on that and wait. Takes a minute. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll get it, it'll remove it a lot faster than going through and doing it all individually and cloning out the whole thing. And then all you'll have to do is go back in and do some touching up once it's done. If it ever gets done. I tried just making the selection, but that was really hard. It's really hard to just select that fence. It took, was taking forever. So using the paintbrush to make the selection for you is a lot faster and easier than going through and trying to manually select the fence. There it goes. Now we'll do Control D to deselect, and that's what we're left with. And there are things, like little spaces up here where my painting wasn't the best and it made a mess, but that can all be fixed. And I also originally when it it removed parts of this rope, so originally I went in and I actually fixed it, you know, with the clone tool, and then I made a selection here and drug it down and you know, blended it. And it looked great, but I decided I just want to get rid of the rope, so I made another selection, or I made another paint layer. And I covered the rope. Oh. Except I missed the spot every time. So with this layer selected, I can do the same thing. I'm going to go to Select, Selection from Layer, and then click on the background layer again, and In Paint. Smaller, this should be a little faster. And oh, deselect that layer so we can see it. Control D to get rid of the selection, and it's gone. And now you can you can go back in and fix it any way you want. You can there are a lot of different tools, but you can also there's an inpainting brush down here. In paint brush. And that is that's good for a little touching ups. You just Paint over what you don't want, and it fixes it. So I'm not going to go and fix the whole thing and get rid of that because I don't like it. 
I'm not going to go fix the whole picture, but you get the idea. Um, just, yeah, that's a quicker way to get rid of the fence, and then you, from there, just clean it up. And you're good to go. I hope that was helpful. Um, thanks for watching.